Hi. We see all your voices come so easy in all these different kinds of ranges. Yeah. Um, how does one get into voice work, and what do you have to do to maintain it? Is there a special tea? Do you do vocal exercises? Because it, it looks like it comes easy, but it's not. It's your instrument, right? Yeah. It's. Um, I don't know. It's like I said. I was eight years old. I saw a movie in Peterborough. And the movie theater was The Legend of Boggy Creek, and there was a voice. You know, coming this March. Da, 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 da. And I said, Who's that voice? And, you know, I remember that. So who knows what affects you? And I always, I was always a goofy kid. Is that me? Is that me? I was always a, go a goofy kid in school, making up. I got a cassette tape when I was like nine or ten, mimicking someone on the radio. It's mimicking and hearing voices and trying to uh, come up with something, you know, weird. How do you, how do you maintain it? I don't know. I mean, we, once in a while we'll go to Vegas, and uh, I can only take a place for 24 hours, and I got to get out of there. But it's if you listen to people walking through Vegas, they're like real people. It's and it's a, the classic example I always give is I was sit, we we're sitting having a drink one night late. My wife and I it was at the Bellagio, and there's you can see people walking by, and um, it was a couple, a little couple, must have been from New York or something, and they talk like this. He's like, oh my God, I'm going to be over by the slots for about an hour. Are you going to come again? Just go and do your, I don't care. I don't. And so, oh God, that's a voice. Because, I mean, you know, we're all cartoons. It's just, uh, everybody's got a musicality to their voice. Some have more interesting voices. And you just kind of mimic, just mimicking things. So I'm always coming up with the different stuff. I, I really don't know. It's well, the typical funny. day when you're kind of talking all day and all you're doing is talking and yeah. using it. Is you know how do you how do you take care of it? Do you get home at night and then not talk at all? Does Sometimes it, it gets day? to the point where uh, when I was here Monday when Steve was setting up, we're a stressful day on Monday because it was the first full day of recording and I had stuff. Uh, I took a, the Friday away to travel to Pennsylvania, so I had a, a few animation auditions to do, and then I had all my clients for radio television. Plus there was a couple trailer auditions I need to do. They're all different. By the end of Monday, I'd worked 14 hours, and I was I was shot physically and, and mentally, and. Uh, there's a, there's a gargle I use called alkalol, not alcohol, but it's al alkalol. It's been around since the late 1800s, and it's, this stuff's amazing. It's a rinse and a gargle, and it brings back the... Somehow, I haven't been sick for two and a half years of this stuff, and it's, uh, it brings back the resonance if you're tired, but sometimes I just gotta, sh I just gotta stop talking because you get tight in here. When you're tight in here, we, you know how we all get nervous and stressed out? We kind of tighten up a little bit. You know, it's no good because you have to be relaxed. So uh, there are little tricks to the trade, but it's, it's tiring. 